It's the Cooper and Anthony Show. So there's a story today that is going viral. It's a 24-year-old woman named Chloe Morozak who decided that she was going to go to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Now, Hawaii has a very, very strict policy. If you are not vaccinated, you have to self-quarantine for 10 days. So that means if you're taking a vacation to Hawaii and your vacation is for 10 days, you're never going to see Hawaii. (laughs) I'm sorry. Unless you're vaccinated. Yeah, unless you're vaccinated. So you have to have a vaccination card, and that's the only way that you can get into Hawaii. Now, they've been really great. I've got friends who are actually from Hawaii or live in Hawaii, and they've said that COVID has like been non-existent there this entire time because they're on separate islands. No one's interacting. Um, you know, no one could fly anywhere. There have not been a lot of tourists, which is bad because a lot of their income comes from tourism, as mm-hmm. you know. So this girl, Chloe Morozak, flies there. And she flies there with a fake COVID card. You know, those vaccination cards. Right. She bought a fake COVID vaccination card. The problem is the minute you see it, it's pretty obvious it's fake. So it has several issues. The minute you you look at it, the first one is that it's all in the same handwriting and the same pen. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So that means that the, that you go for one shot. And then you come back four weeks later for the second shot. It's never the same person. It's never the same vial that you get vaccine out of. So it's usually a different pen, a different handwriting. No, not hers. It's all the same handwriting, the same everything. Um, Also, the dates are wrong. She has them five and a half weeks apart. That is not how it works. She has the vaccination number, the actual like they put down the vial you know, where it came from, mm-hmm. same number, same vial as if it was as if they held the vial for her. But the big tell, the really big tell is that she misspelled the word Moderna. Yeah. Yeah. She spelled it M-A-D-E-R-N-A, Maderna instead of <laughs> Ma- Moderna. And uh, as you can imagine, the jokes the Madonna jokes on Twitter abounded. They were like, yeah, Moderna. That's what my grandma used to call Madonna back in the 80s. Everyone had jokes about this. So, um, yeah, I mean, this is you, you cannot vaccinate stupid. This is a good example of that. <laughs> at least if you're going to lie on a card, like the card should at least try to look real. But no, that was so they they turned her around. They stuck her in jail. They said $2,000 to get out of jail. She said, I don't have $2,000. They said, enjoy your stay. (laughs) Can you imagine people are doing time for faking a card? Yeah. That is crazy. Yeah. That you're going to do time because you don't want to get a shot. Which is free, by the way. So so a fake card costs you something. I think these cards I've heard and go for any- grand. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, I'm saying whatever the card went for, right. which is probably wasn't cheap, few hundred bucks there, two grand to stay in prison. The vaccination was free. Mm-hmm. Or you can be like my sister, who, by the way, is still in the hospital. Really? Two <gasps> weeks later. She has been Whoa. in the hospital for two weeks now, and she has been so vocal about not getting the vaccine. Right. But yeah. now she can't get out of the hospital. So wow. still two not weeks. a believer. But two Wait weeks. Minute. So, so, so hang on a second. So two weeks in the hospital with COVID with, with the Delta variant and she's really, really sick. Yep. She still is not a believer in the vaccine. Nope. Whoa. Yeah. And so, I, 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 I'm just discussing this through my mom so i don't know i it's not like i talked to my sister to figure out what's going on i just hear it secondhand but she's still in the hospital because i saw a story i think it was in texas an entire family unvaccinated they all got covid they all got the delta variant they were really sick um like the whole family like two or three of them were hospitalized and the youngest the 19 year old girl she died mm-hmm. she died of covid and then the rest of the family got vaccinated immediately. Yeah. And now there's a new variant in South Africa that's coming this way. So enjoy that too. Right. Wow. I'm really shocked that your sister be still in the hospital two weeks still. with COVID and it has not changed her opinion. 
No. And today she was uh, supposed to get out and she still can't breathe. So wow. she's going to stay in there for another couple of days. So, yeah, I mean, that's, I, I don't even want to get into who's paying for this. Right. You know, this can't be cheap. I mean, two weeks in the hospital is crazy money. In intensive care. I mean, it's not like they just put you in the hospital and you, you're just, you wander around with a, you know, an IV in your arm. No, you, it's literally intensive care. Right. So two weeks of this, how much is that? Yeah. I know. Again, and the vaccine was free. And also, <laughs> this is the thing that, that really upsets me. I don't know if you saw this, but um, there was some celebrity from a TV show from like back in the day um, who lives in Los Angeles and he had to go to the hospital. He had like, you know, whatever, like some normal, not normal, but he had like a heart thing or a lung thing or, you know, he was sick. And he went to his local hospital and they said, sorry, no beds. It's all the COVID patients oh, have the beds. Leave it to Beaver, dude. Yeah. Leave it to Beaver, dude. Right. How to go drive around sick trying to find a hospital that would take him because all the COVID patients took up all the beds. It's like, I'm the beaver. Remember me? I'm the beaver. I, I need to get in here. And like, no. I don't think it was. I don't think it was the beaver. I think it was one of the other characters. One of the guys on. What well, yeah, doesn't matter if you were on the beaver show. Yeah. You should have a, a hospital bed somewhere. Right. Right. So I don't I don't know how the nurses and the doctors do it. I don't know. Oh, my. And here's the other funny one. So today there was another story. Ah, I think this is also Texas. Um, there was a guy <laughs> who was in the hospital with COVID super sick. I didn't really want to talk about COVID again, but this no. is just such a crazy story. Um, in the hospital, super sick with COVID, and he wanted them to give him that horse tranquilizer deworming thing. And they're like, um, that's not FDA approved. We're a hospital. <laughs> like where science happens here. So if you don't believe in science, you're probably in the wrong place. He took them to court because they wouldn't, he claims that they wouldn't give him life-saving medication. They're like, no, no, we actually gave you life-saving medication. We wouldn't give you something for horses because turns out you not a horse. Um, and luckily whatever state that happened in the state was on the side of the hospital and told the guy to go fuck himself. I, I know <laughs> we need a vaccination for stupid. <laughs> I mean, somebody told you that the horse thing was good and you're like, yeah, I'll take that. No, take this. Cause this is proven. No, I saw on Facebook. I'm sorry. Um, we're a hospital and that's the head of, <laughs> of medicine here. Yeah, who went John to Harvard. On Instagram told me that the horse thing works. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. So go home and take that medication. What are you doing here? Why are you here? Just take that. Yeah, go to the vet. We're not a vet. <laughs> We're a hospital. Go to the vet and get that shot then, or the pill, or whatever the hell it is. But see, so why is your sister at the hospital? If she doesn't believe in science and doesn't believe in medicine, you know, at the hospital, they do science there. She should probably not be there. Why I, is she there? I'm not fighting with you on that. I agree 100%. <laughs> That's why I, I don't even discuss it. I should call her or text her or send her a message and say, you know, I hope you get better. I I'm not doing that. Right. Because you don't hope she gets better. That's no, why. I hope she gets better. <laughs> it's just the funny thing was a week before she got sick, we were fighting about this. Yeah. And I was saying, no, don't be stupid. And then she went to my parents' house who are in their seventies mm. for the weekend, a week before she got sick. So there's not much love for her. I got to say, I got to hand it to you for not being like completely smug and wanting to do the I told you so thing. Like, good for you for holding your tongue and not being like you get what you deserve or whatever you want to. I'm sure that's what you want to say to her. And the fact that you're not that you're having some sympathy for the fact that she's been in the hospital for two weeks and is very sick. Like I. I commend you for that. Yeah. My mom said today, lung capacity is still bad. And I said, if there was only a precaution available. Right. If it was only a way she could have avoided this. <laughs> yeah. But, Again, but, uh, I, the thing I don't understand is so if you don't believe in science, why go to a hospital? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The reason why I, I bring COVID up on this show is because we are all over the world. And I think people all over the world think it's funny that we're a joke. Right. The I whole know. country's a joke. Yeah. 
we, we, we're with you. We acknowledge it. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're not pretending that yeah, everything is totally cool here. We, we know we have dummies here. We're, we're just like you. We just go. Ho- yeah. People want to take medicine for horses and cows instead of the people medicine that the FDA said this is cool to take. They'll take so, a hospital to court over it. Yeah. We don't understand either people. We, <laughs> we, we don't get it either. <laughs> yeah. That's why we're talking about it because we think it's also equally horrifying and hilarious. Yeah.